In this video, I'm gonna be turning Casey Neistat's studio into an aquarium and delivering it to him in New York City. This might be one of the best presents I've ever received. Casey is an icon on this platform and his studio space has inspired hundreds of ideas for his videos over the years. This is why I decided to turn this one of a kind space into a fully functioning aquarium that can even hold a live fish. Now I've surprised YouTubers before and made crazy aquariums like this koi pond in my parents' basement. If I can pull this off, this is gonna be the best one yet. The only problem is Casey's studio isn't so simple. If you've ever seen his videos, you know that everything in this space is customized. The walls are covered, the shelves are stacked, everything is labeled for a reason with a purpose. Having to recreate this is gonna be almost impossible, and knowing Casey's gonna see it at the end of this makes me nervous. Before we start, let's try to make a 3D model so we know what we're building. That's gonna be tough. So we have his desk, all his tools, and this video screen. Is it even possible to make all of this waterproof? We're gonna need to make it all fit in a one by one foot aquarium, something compact so that it could be easily placed in a corner of his studio. How are we gonna squeeze it all down to make it fit in our aquarium? This project is a little bit out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna have to pick up some new skill sets here, but you know what? I'm an artist and I can do this. I also have a one of a kind rare beta fish on the way for his tank, so we need to get moving. I went to the store to get lots of materials I could manipulate to look like what I needed. I found some miniature tools, books, and other items that we can use so that we don't have to make everything by hand. I feel like these shots are so cliche now. Pull the camera out of here. You guys leave your carts in the parking lot or do you take them to the, uh, the thingy? I don't think there is one of those thingies here. We are running. So late. We literally only have until this weekend. Now that we have all the supplies, we're ready to start working in the fish tank. To start, I needed to create the structure of his studio. I'll be doing so using these MDF wood panels. I had them cut to fit the exact dimensions of our aquarium. You always look this cool when you cut stuff. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Thanks. Now that those are in place, we can start building onto our set. Later, we're going to be waterproofing the whole thing, so stay tuned for that. I completely forgot. I'm gonna need some sort of a saw to cut out the entrance door, spot for the LCD screen, and Casey's most recent addition, the secret door. So to cut out these pieces here, you think this is the best thing? That's the best thing. I've never used a saw. I'm buying a power tool. I'm not usually doing that on this channel. Here we go. The next day, our packages arrived just on time. Oh my God. We ordered so many Amazon packages that they delivered it in this bin. I ordered lots of cool accessories online that resembled pieces of his studio. I even bought the smallest phone in the world to turn into that video wall he has by his door. I don't know if it's gonna work, but hopefully we can pull this off. We have a problem. A lot of these items came way too big. We don't have time to order anymore, so we're gonna have to make a lot of these on our own. We have to be finished building by tomorrow. Waterproofing the tank will take at least 24 hours. I don't know if this is gonna be possible. We need to keep moving, so let's paint the walls, and while we are waiting for it to dry, let's give Harry a snack. Harry is my baby axolotl. This is his favorite snack. Maybe later we can give him a peek of Casey's studio. One of the most important items we need to make are Casey's boosted boards. These ones I found online are the perfect shape. We just need to spray paint the boards black and the wheels the iconic orange. Wow, these are so cool. I can't wait to put them in the tank. We are now gonna start the process of building everything. We will do so using wood for the shelves and other items mounted to his wall. This took way longer than I expected, guys. I wasn't able to finish with the structure until the next day. I'm literally getting on the plane to go give this to him tomorrow. We need to hurry. Now it's time to add all of the specialty items into the set that really will make it come to life. If we don't get started waterproofing in the next few hours, we aren't gonna make it in time. Adding things like the orange buckets, VCR shelves, tools, posters, surfboard, and miscellaneous cords are really gonna help make this look like his actual studio. I even added this brick paper to the back wall. It's gonna give it that classic New York City themed look and really make it feel like you're gonna be looking into his studio apartment. This is looking awesome. Now we have one final touch before we start waterproofing. Casey's desk. Wow, this looks great. I really hope I can finish this before my flight tomorrow morning. All right, so it's time to resin the entire thing to make it waterproof. This fish safe resin is gonna need 24 hours to cure, so we're just barely gonna make it. This is the part I'm most worried about. We have to make sure this resin covers everything. If we miss even one tiny spot, the tank will be ruined. I really hope all the walls fit together after this cures. While we are waiting for that to dry, let me show you a special surprise. We 3D printed this custom fish portal to look like Casey's sunglasses. 
This is how we feed our fish in the studio. The walls are looking great. I can't wait for Casey to see this. I just hope these fit together. Oh no, the second wall isn't fitting in the tank. This is awful. I've spent thousands of dollars on this video and my flight leaves in a few hours. We need to act quick. Let's run to Home Depot to grab a sander. I really hope this does the trick. Sanding it down didn't take long. It's time to see if the walls will finally fit in the fish tank. This has to work. There's literally no time to spare. They fit. I'll use some sealant to keep them in place. Now that the tank is ready to go, we have one hour left to get to the airport and I have to make sure this holds water before we give it to Casey. This white sand will work nicely for the bottom of the tank. Now for the water. This is the moment of truth. I'm so nervous. Wow, this is amazing. Casey's studio has come to life. We have just enough time to show Harry around Casey's place before we have to go. Look, he's checking out the boosted boards. I think Harry wants to claim this space as his own. He wouldn't even let Casey back into his own studio. We have packed it up and we are gonna be taking it now on the flight. And I'm very nervous about getting it there without it breaking. I'm gonna to try to carry this on with me. Hopefully we don't have any issues getting this on the plane. I almost can't believe it. The day that I bring an aquarium on the plane, I got the whole aisle. Look at this. I'm actually gonna give the, the aquarium the window seat. Oh goodness. Is that okay? Let me double check. Okay. Cause the FAA may prohibit that. The FAA, in fact, does prohibit aquariums to have a seat on the plane. The aquarium wouldn't fit in the overhead or under the seat, so the flight attendant ended up taking my box off of the airplane, putting it down below to fend for itself with the rest of the checked luggage. Just when I thought things were going well, now I have no idea if the tank is gonna make it there without cracking. Guys, we just hit some turbulence. As you can see, it is a little bumpy, so flight attendants will not be getting up. I would be surprised if the aquarium didn't crack, to be honest. We're gonna have to check it at the hotel before we head over to Casey's studio. We're good. It's great, all right, we gotta go. This is finally starting to feel real now. We have a 10 minute subway ride and then we are practically there. This is really happening. This has gotta be one of the craziest moments in my entire career. Like it's, it's kinda crazy this is actually about to happen. I started my YouTube channel over 10 years ago and Casey has been an inspiration for me since the very beginning. I'm sure you've been wondering for some time now what the plan is in terms of getting in contact with Casey. The plan is this guy. It's Marlon. Marlon is Casey's UPS guy and has been featured in dozens of his vlogs. Let's just say if you know Casey, you know Marlon. Marlon, I need a favor from you. What favor you need, man? He agreed to give me a hand as long as the package had a UPS label on the box. With the help of Marlon, this might really happen. All right, so we made it. We're here. This, oh, this is it. I captured that shot of you. I wasn't sure how I was gonna use it, but I knew I'd need it for something. So that was three hours ago. I won this contest, one of five people who got to come and meet Casey. I need you to open this box. Okay. To Casey from George, just add water. I think I know what this is. This might be one of the best presents I've ever received. So this is a fish tank? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty flawless. Look at the video you have. It's so good. Okay, can we put a fish in it now? Oh my God. Is this my new pet? Yep. Not the water. Whoa, 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 whoa. But I would be a little careful. Of what? Not like just down. Oh, no, 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 gently. This is insane. From this day henceforward, he shall be known as Edward. Edward? It's a fantastic thing. That I want that fish to just explore and like own that space. He's chilling on the desk. That's awesome. How long did this take you to build? Dude, I'm not gonna lie. We built this in three days. It's so good. Okay, this is George. Hi. Okay, look what George made me. What do you see? Your studio. Wait for it. It's a fish tank. What? <laughs> Isn't that insane? Oh my god, that's so cool. He's gonna show you what happens when you turn the filter on and the bubbles float up. Like, look at the detail. Have you ever seen anything like that? That's amazing. Why did somebody do this for you? Because he's a nice guy. That's incredible. That's priceless. All right, all right. I was just excited about it. I'll call you later. That's really amazing. 
Now for your guys' surprise. I asked Casey to show you guys the most secret and unknown aspects of his space. Casey has been in the studio since 2002. 20 years. Yeah. That's a long time, man. I know. Might be the longest constant in my life. So let's take a look at some of the hidden gems he's created for himself throughout those years. This is a GoPro camera that's been running for 10 years or seven years, never been turned off. So you literally have a live view of someone coming in and out. Yeah. This is a cool invention. I put the key on this chain, which is then attached to this piece of wood, which is then attached to like a really powerful magnet. So if he's not gonna get lost. This is just a bucket of scrap wood, but this was made out of like one of those free newspaper boxes. Now, I don't know if the boxes are meant to be taken. You build everything you saw. Yeah, I have all the capabilities here to wire things, build things, light things. All these tools, that's what they do. Everywhere you look in this space, every single screw, every nail, every picture on the wall, was put up by me. One of the hardest things to recreate were your boosted boards. When I look into the tank, there's a couple of iconic things that are just really, like viscerally, this space. And the boosted boards nailed that. We made it. An extra for you. I will take this. I will take this boosted board. This will be hung here. What are all these tapes? DVD is the worst medium ever created. So what Van and I, what my brother and I did from like 2002 to 2012, we would get DVDs and immediately copy them to tape. So this is just a way of having a catalog of movies before YouTube and Netflix. And I do have a VCR over there that still works. These are all gifts. Like this is from my father-in-law. That's a Johnny Walker blue label. It says YouTube's finest. I have no clue where that came from. Casey Ranch, Gary Vaynerchuk gave that to me. I don't drink, but alcohol is a nice gift and the bottles are beautiful. So that's why these are here. But every time somebody gives me a new bottle, I throw an old one out. What's it with the weapons? Why are there weapons? You know, it's just, it's better to have weapons and not need them than need weapons and not have them. You ever had to use them? Yeah. <laughs> That's New York City. Chinatown, like now, is a pretty desirable location in New York City, but it wasn't as popular back in the day. That changed, but I think that's part of the reason why I was able to get this space so many years ago is because it just wasn't such a cool neighborhood. Now it's unfortunately cool. Like now everybody kind of wants to be down here. It's still great though. Nothing like Chinatown. We just turned Casey Nyset's studio into an aquarium. Make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey, yeah, like and subscribe, like and subscribe.